not going to be making a reappearance trying to get the two peat, but. Yeah, he wants to leave on the win, man. He, yeah, exactly. He, he, he yeah. knows he doesn't need to come back to back. He's like, you know, you know what? I'm gonna make you hold that because he has his competitors salty from last week. They want they want their chance to dethrone him, but he's like, I'll make you wait a week or two. Like, it's okay. Yeah. I'll make you work for it. And it looks like our players finally got the thumbs up, so we should be hanging into this uh, character select pretty soon for you guys. Yeah, I, I'm I'm like surprised they didn't actually like pick the stage or characters yet. They were told not to start until the the stream was ready, but I I would have had my character stage locked and loaded, man. Yeah. Bans, they probably just started banning. <laughs> like they, they they I mean that's that's cool, man. Yeah, at least they at least they didn't jump ahead into the game yeah, without know, us. Now we get to, you know, watch their mind, you know, not hear it as much, but you know, we can kind of see what the pick ban looks like yeah. um, in this first game. That's true. That uh, is true as well. PS2, the pretty common starter here uh, at least you know, from what I've seen. Starter Stadium. Yeah. I'm a big fan of PS2. I'm a, I really enjoy the stage. Um, and it looks like we're going to be starting off with Tortilla the Pun. Yeah. Uh, pretty noble DDD, even from Smash 4 here in SoCal. He's been doing some work for a long time. Yeah, and you know his uh, results a little bit better than I do because he is a uh, Inland Empire resident and part of the, the uh, newly released PR out there as well. So. I think you're thinking right? of Swamp. Oh, I'm thinking of Swamp. You're Wrong right, you're right. Wrong DDD. Tortilla the Pun's still really good. Yeah, he's definitely been around in SoCal. Yeah. Uh, one of the better deities that we have here. And Psy Guy and Mario that I have uh, yet to get the pleasure to know, but what I do know about this matchup is that Mario does have the cape, so he's going to be able to reflect. Uh, he's going to have an extra tool to reflect that Gordo. Of course, he can reflect it by simply throwing out a hitbox, and he has a lot of quick hitboxes, which is really crucial. What he doesn't have is range, and that's starting to show a lot right now because as Tortilla the Pun plays this uh, zone game, he's taking a lot of damage, maybe not recognizing that he can knock away the Gordos. Yeah, one thing I do like that we're seeing from Saigai is he's starting to land with these fireballs and landing behind them because they create a hitbox in front of him that will hit back the Gordo and let him land safely. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to make it back to stage right there. Gonna be dropping the first stock and Tortilla the Pun already with a quick 32% onto this next stock. Yeah, just about to overlap, but Saigai coming in with the combo with the platform extension and two, finishes it off with a simple upbeat. I like it. 99% damage, this is uh, looking much better for him already. Yeah, he can definitely find the stock sometime soon. He'll be right back in the game. That was definitely the combo I wanted to see from him right there. It made up a lot of damage really quickly. He was starting to fall pretty far behind, but he does manage to keep himself alive in this game. Even if it doesn't find the stock, he does have a good spot uh, oh. with Tortilla the Pun. But Tortilla the Pun finding the perfect spot right there on that forward smash. Yeah, absolutely. Actually forcing the air dodge with the Gordo and just had that forward smash fully charged up to get that pro uh, punish proper. 45, 40, 65 percent now on Psy Guy's last stock. Oh, no, oh, you go a little no. too high. What a great Dang. forward smash there from Tortilla the Punt. Recognize the position that Psy Guy was in, says, I know you're going to go past the ledge. Here's a forward smash. I am ready for you, and I hope you don't like living past 70. Yeah, and Arkasaur, I mean, what a great opening statement from Tortilla the Pun. not only for this first set, but for the stream. It's uh, first set of the stream, first stream yeah. set of the night. And we definitely got a show from him. Let's see if Psy Guy is going to be able to adapt a little bit better. I think he was starting to recognize that he could uh, knock back the Gordos a little bit better. Uh, the main like thing is going to be he needs to be able to get in and get those car combos started because Mario has the combos on deck and they do a lot of damage. So especially on a big body like DDD, he's go he's going to be prime combo food in this matchup. And one thing that I feel like people aren't doing against DDD as much as they should is they aren't they see this big heavy body and they're like, oh, I want to go in, get an opening hit, and just combo him. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times it just causes people to overextend, and then they get caught in like these Gordo mix-ups and they take all this damage. But I like what we're seeing from Saigai right now. He's taking his time, waiting for the Gordos to come out so he can punish the reaction afterwards instead of just running in and getting hit by the Gordo. Definitely making the adjustments he needs. I also like um, the Final Destination pick. I mean, I feel like it's not a really traditional counter pick in this matchup, but it's certainly working out for him. It looked like the platforms were throwing him off a little bit in the first game. Tortilla the Pun was able to hang underneath them and kind of just like camp underneath them. So that that is eliminated in this option. And it, you can start to see that with the lead that he's established on this first stock. 
Okay, down tilt to forward air. Not going to connect. He's going to be sent off stage. Can he recover? Ooh, oh. Up is the long way. That's quite Ouch. unfortunate. A good start for Side Guy, but that SD is going to give Tortilla the pun the lead again. Is he able to find the stock? The back air not going to kill with the stage spike. Great recovery from Tortilla is going to make him back onto the stage 176 percent though no. but he's not gonna make it easy for side guy to finish him off oh and that gordo's still not gonna kill off the top he's at 189 percent he risks it for the biscuit with that up b but it's not gonna work out either yeah it's uh he's starting to go for a lot more committal moves now that are starting to really cost him he's already sitting at 76 86 percent now on a second life with tortilla the pun i mean well at kill percent just uh I haven't, okay, back, back air is going to seal the deal right there, but I haven't seen too many, like, up smashes coming out from uh, tor from Psy Guy at all. Uh, I mean, that, that'll kill pretty early, and especially with the, uh, DDD being so big, like, he, he, and he jumps around a lot, so it's, it's a great anti-air tool, so something to keep in mind. I, right now, Psy Guy able to regain center stage. I like the back air. He forces Tortilla off the stage with the forward tilt afterwards. Another combo going to be coming out for him. He does actually have the advantage here, even though they are he is by on or in percent, he is equal in stocks here. He can just get a quick combo to even up this game and put it in his favor. But Tortilla the Pun not gonna make it easy on him. Uh oh, okay. What's the mix up? He's just gonna hold him in. I see. I see. Alright, it worked out. He just uh waited for Psy Guy to mash out of his belly and react to whatever option came out of that, and then the forward yeah. air was gonna we eliminate that stock. Did see Tortilla the Pun actually throw an up tilt like yeah. as soon as he popped out, but it was just not in the right spot. I'm curious if there is some sort of confirm he can look for, or at least a read. Yeah, maybe it just depends on what um, option the uh, opponent throws out from being inhaled, or maybe the percentage has something to do with it as well. Uh, but we're down to the last stock here for Psy Guy, and he lands right on top of him, attempting to get the fire.